Let's see who that is. Hello. Hello, Sadia. Nick Cajun from Leicester. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. So you're here to see how clean our house is? We are. Ready to go? Uh-huh, let's go. Great. When I clean the house, I use, for the floors, just hot water and the mop and broom at first. For washrooms and the kitchen tables, we use the all-purpose sprays that you get. The areas that have the most germs tend to be the kitchens and bathrooms for the most part, but throughout the house can be anywhere. I am a clean freak, but I would still like to know because at times I feel I'm just cleaning off from the top, but I really don't know in terms of germs because you don't see them, so you think your house is clean. We're looking at bacteria, we're looking at mold, we're looking at mildew, um, just general dirt. Well, Sadia, we've made the kitchen dark. We're gonna use this black light to see if there are any germs here mm -hmm. that we can't see while the lights are on. There's a number of areas that you really wanna focus on. Ooh. The backsplashes, they look pretty clean in light, but in fact, there's what's actually on your wall. So these countertops look pretty good. Now under the sink, this is another area that people tend to miss a little bit. There's some areas here that probably could use a bit more thorough cleaning. Oh, wow, like, I actually thought that was Clean. Here wow. looks like a hot plate. Mm -hmm. I'll take this out and show you oh my in God. more detail. That can be mine. Well, unfortunately, it looks like it is. I can't believe this. But it looks so clean when you have the lights on. I'm like, I, I think I clean. Well, we'll take a look. We'll turn the light on right now. So you don't really see those spots at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll take a swab. We'll get this to the lab and we'll see exactly what these problems are. Could be any types of germs. In some cases, it could be salmonella, oh which causes food poisoning. It's something that you really want to be cognizant of and mm -hmm. obviously spend the time to really clean up, you know, cutting boards and hot plates and everything in the kitchen, including inside your dishwasher, around the sinks. Inside the dishwasher? Yeah, it's a very good idea to clean that as well. Toaster ovens, inside the fridges as well. You really want to be thorough mm -hmm. in those areas as well. So why don't we go upstairs and, and take a look at the bathroom? That's sort of the next problem area in most people's houses. Uh, okay. So there's sort of three common areas. We're at the baseboards mm -hmm. around the sink. You take a look down here. Oh, wow. And you can see lots there. If you take a look around the toilet, we've got some spots around here. Oh, no. Not great aim. Uh-huh. It's obviously an area of concern. Mm -hmm. And then in the tub. Dirty. You definitely want to get in there, clean the grout lines. And obviously, this is an area as well you want to focus on because it's moist in here all the time. This is where mold spores can grow as well. Just when you think your house is clean, you get the shock. Yes, you do. <laughs> Oh my God. Now in the nursery, obviously there's lots of key areas, but most importantly, the crib. Dust mites are in all beds, so you wanna make sure mm -hmm. that you're cleaning the sheets frequently, and, uh, and the pillows and the stuffed animals as well. So making sure that you know the germs are away from the baby because they're spending a lot of time in here. See, I don't wash the stuffed animals. I don't know you're supposed to wash them. I just like, you know, maybe dust them off. You probably wanna wash them once mm -hmm. in a while as well. For the ones that you can, uh, it's probably a good idea. Well, thank you so much. And all of this though came as a surprise to me because everyone who walks in my house is like, your house is so clean. So to see that deadly blue thing, whatever it was, bring out all those germs. Ugh. It's a real eye opener for a lot of people. Oh yeah. So, so oh, it not, is? Okay, so I don't have to feel alone. that bad. You're not okay, alone. Okay, it's good. <laughs>